obviously Case has had three good weeks and or two and a half good weeks here and played well and um, he, he played well enough Saturday that, that he sure deserves to keep playing. So, um, but I, I don't want to be hypothetical until we know that David's back. And he came out to practice um, on Thursday. He was at the team meeting last night, so he, he didn't practice Thursday, but he's back involved with the team and he's back around and they said he's making progress. And I actually asked him, do you anticipate playing any more this season? He said, yes. The thing I think that, that's got Case in a more confident position right now is he's made really good decisions with the ball for the last two and a half games. And that's all he was lacking before. He moved the ball against Baylor two years ago. He moved the ball against Kansas State last year, but he had too many turnovers. This is signs of who we want to be now. This is, this is what we're talking about uh, against a team that had been more physical than us, against a team that we couldn't beat uh, on a regular basis. So uh, that helped us. Uh, Iowa State, eh, you know, we won, but it wasn't who we want to be. Uh, then we got back to OU, and that's something that we talked about since we walked off the field last year, and it worked for them. And now what we've been able to do is tell them last week it worked because you prepared for it to work, not because you waved someone. So that's who you got to be. And, and the power running game doesn't work unless you make yards. And instead of bouncing outside and, and instead of not staying with it, uh, there were four-yard runs that became six-yard runs, then eight-yard runs. and and and. That's how you have to run the ball. There were 60 runs instead of 32, and, and uh, very few lost yards. Then all of a sudden, the things that have happened to us in that game the last two years uh, weren't nemesis, like uh, turnovers and quarterbacks getting hit because you're having to throw it every time with fast defensive ends rushing. Everything got settled down. And then all of a sudden, your defense is out there 58 plays instead of 98. Uh, so it just works. And, and you have to have a play in the kicking game. And we were able to get that with DJ's uh, punt return. So. Uh, that's who we want to be. Now, the interesting thing about this matchup, this may be the best run defense in our league that we're playing this weekend. So you got to go back and, and do the same thing. It's going to be the, the running uh, offense against the, the run-stopping defense. I was happy we did not play last weekend. I thought they were really full of themselves, and, and they had fun, and they enjoyed it. But, but you could tell it was but that 48-hour rule got extended. There was no doubt. And they practiced well, and they had fun, but they were still full of themselves. And what we did is at the first of the year, we knew that was a critical game for us. So we said, after the OU game, we have a natural break, and that will be the end of that part of the season, and we have to start over. So we actually told them over the weekend, if you still want to feel good about yourself, that's fine. But on Sunday, OU is gone, and it's all toward TCU. And, I, and they did that.